Hello guys, I'm back. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to guide you on how to change flower spot number. Okay, and basically by default, uh, Plus will set its spot number to 5000. Okay, and you, when you like to run in, in a local server, I mean local host, it will run by default is 5000 as a port number. Okay. And what I have here is a two different Flask website, which is the first is Flask Blue, and then the next one is a Flask Red. Okay, um, let me show you the files. I mean the folder or directory structure. Dash L and two. Okay, the first one is a Flask Blue, right? You can see uh, it consists of index.py. And then the virtual, this is the virtual environments that I already installed, I already using the pip. And the second one is plus red, which uh, also has or consists of main.py and another thing is just virtual environments. Right. Okay, now I'm going to run both of these uh, websites using Flask. So push here simply CD and then Flask Blue. Right, then I clear up the things. Uh, the next thing is I'm going to activate uh, this Flask Blue virtual and then bin and then activate. As you can see here, it's already activated. <clears throat> and now uh, let's see, okay, it has to I mean the first is the folder for the virtual environments and then the next one is index the py so I'm going to run this flask command simply by typing python3 and index.py right it shows here uh, things is doing good I mean it's run as a as normal it, and then the run of the local host says uh, 127.0.0.1 which is the IP number or local host you can change inside the local host or .0.0.0 and then the 5000 is the default right okay let me run another one which is a flash red uh, I split it up okay and then I go to CD all plus and as you can see here, we've got flash red. I'm going to run for the flash red and then move into the flash red directory. And let's source the virtual. Uh, let me list out thing first. Okay, virtual here. Yeah. And then um, simply type here source virtual pain and activate all right it's doing good next one is simply type here python tree main.py you see okay what uh the problem here is that when we didn't change i mean we uh we are trying to run the Python 3 that mean, I mean dot py is that the port uh, 5000 has been used for this flask blue applications and it is supposed to be uh, I mean to, to be unique it cannot share the same port number so what we're going to do here is we need to do uh, some like, some some tweaking for the flask thread Okay, it's just let I just let uh, for this plus blue is run by its own uh, using the default is five thousand, but I'm going to change this plus red into a, a different port number. Now I'm going to open up my text editor, which is Spring. Okay, as you can see here, this is the virtual environments folder, and then this is main py open up so let me hide the sidebar all right 
first thing that uh, this is I'm going to change uh, this app dot run the last row so by putting here additional which is support uh, let me put here 3300 okay so let's see go here go back to my terminal and then run this python 3 and main.py so okay we managed to change the port number which is uh, 3300 right so this is the first step by changing the uh, python script i mean the python uh, flask uh, py extensions itself but there is another way of changing the the port number instead of changing it into from the from the script itself uh, let me terminate this Control c let clear up this one the other one is by uh, changing it in, using the terminal but this will change by temporary basis and by using the command uh, this plus run and each local host dash p and then let's say just now we already changed right the port number to 3300 300 so so for this one i'm going to put here 80 80 so I'm going to press enter. All right. Uh, as you can see, there is an error here. Could not locate a Flask application. Use the Flask uh, dash dash app and Flask app environment variable or a WSGI or app.pr file in the current directory. So uh, it's supposed to be, if you want to run this command, Flask run, dash h localhost dash p8080 we are supposed to make sure that the name of the file instead of okay put here main.py i'm going to change it to wsgi.py or app.py so i'm going to simply to change this uh let me show you mb move main.py to wsgi.py right so let me list up okay now it's changed instead of main.py it's changed to wsgi.py so again i'm going to run this command flask command which is flask run hash hash localhost hp and 8080 All right okay now we managed to change this as temporarily is for 80 and 80 80 yes uh i think it is this will be beneficial if you like to run two or three different websites but uh you can either change it directly from the script itself uh, which is the dot py extension using the flask and another one is you can simply run it from the terminal using the flask command which is plus run dash h local host dash p and you can put uh, the numbers here i mean at least if it is four digits it should be four digits so then it it, it should uh, doing okay after that so uh, i think that's all for today thanks for watching if you got any comment or or uh, any questions please drop that at the comment sections below Okay guys, thank you for watching. Thanks for watching the video tutorial. If you like the video and haven't yet subscribed, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to Python Hat channel. By the way, if you have the means, you can support us and click the link given below. Coffee.com slash Python Hat by buying or tip us coffee. 
See you soon. Again, thank you very much.